Well, I just, um, you know, obviously we, we were hoping Nigel would be able to play. Uh, this has been a thing that's been going on for six, seven days, and it just didn't get better. It probably actually made me a little worse, and we didn't want to take a chance. His long-term health, um, you know, is the most important thing. Any any student athlete, that's the most important thing, and we would never put a young man in jeopardy um over the long haul and, and we didn't really know until we were you know wait until the last minute uh we told the guys before right when we got here that he wouldn't play and, and we just said hey now you have it some give somebody else an opportunity and but we've been here before you can't get out of yourself you can't do what you can't do and you got to do what you you do and do it well and i thought we played hard we guarded the heck out of them in the first half you know, we really should have been winning the game. Uh, you miss three front ends of bonuses. You miss a free throw, another free throw. You have 10 offensive rebounds and only get four points off of it. And that's that's a, that was our opportunity to win it. But, you know, our guys, they, they battled. They, you know, it's just hard. You get foul trouble, fatigue. Um, it takes a toll. Um, we had a couple guys ask out, and I just said, I, you know, I can't. I can't get you. I can't get you right now. I tried to use a couple timeouts. Uh, to help us, but and and they're good, but they're averaging 90 the last five, I believe, and we held them in the 60s. And probably, if we're a little better offensively, probably hold them in the 50s if if we just because they got a little free flowing down the stretch, um, and we lost our our poise a little bit. But uh, you know, it's just uh, we it's just one every day is new. It's every day is a new challenge, and uh, our guys, to their credit. They haven't quit. They battle. Um, I thought when we could get it inside, we we didn't mind them trapping the ball screens. We expected it. We thought it give us a chance. Um, you, you, now you got to make the right passes. Um, you got to make the you got to make some open threes. Uh, we made a few in the first half, but I don't think we made any in the second half, and and that's probably the big difference in the game. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Bruce, uh, every game you guys have played without Nigel this season hasn't been pretty. What? Why just is it so hard to make up uh, make up for him being out compared we to – We don't have another – we don't have ball handlers um, and that and passers. And I think he's one of the leaders in the, in the league, um, and it's an unbelievable league with great guards, uh, assist turnover. Um, and then he's he's the one that can make some shots, uh, you know. And and that that's that's probably the biggest difference. You, I I have had to reinvent our offense. Probably, I'm going to tell you at least six times, if not more, during the season because of different situations. And uh, you know, it's 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 hard. You know, it's hard for the guys uh, because you're trying at at. You know, we we thought maybe yesterday that we might not have them, but you're you know you're trying to practice early and short and trying to get here, so you you know how much can you do? Uh, but it, it it the ball handling is the biggest thing, and you know Mike got four, and I you know I like and he was dead tired, but we still had to keep him in the game at times, just because he can he can pass the basketball and give us a chance. Are you expecting Nigel to be better? Oh, Just, next all we can do is hope and pray, uh, you know, and, and he's had this, he's had this before. This is the first time it's lasted. Um, we got him into a couple of people during the week. Um, hopefully we got him on the right track and uh, he can, he can get, he can recover and uh, get back at it by, you know, I, I guess my hope would be Tuesday, maybe a little practice, but for sure, hopefully Thursday, if that's the latest. And I also want to ask, what did you like best about what Davion gave you today? Well, he battles. And we just talked with um, Stan and Wyatt. Um, you know, he's going against a really good experience, a big guy that plays very hard. Uh, Davion was, uh, you know, he battled the whole way, got five offensive rebounds. Wish we, we had 10 of those at halftime. And we didn't only had four points. And that, that was a, could have been a difference maker. But he, you know, we, when we get it to him, get it inside, um, you know, we have a chance. We probably needed to get it to Casey a little more um, also. But the problem is to run offense and be able to move that ball and get it to a right position where somebody can feed feed those guys. That's that's our, our biggest our biggest issue, I guess. But they, you know, we there's no doubt when we have points in the paint, 
it, it gives us a chance. All right, thanks, Bruce. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Well, Bruce, was that a run pretty much inevitable once you guys stopped making shots? Yeah, I think you 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 have some struggles. Um, we had a few bad possessions. I thought we, you know, they got a couple of baskets to start the half. Then they, I think we cut it to eight or nine. I called timeout because we had guys that were just dead. I thought maybe give them a break. We get re reconnected on defense and and give ourselves a chance. Um, but uh, you know, sooner or later, they're you know they he didn't let them freelance, and he he. He was uh, trying to run their stuff and get it to execute to, to score against us. And uh, again, they, they're averaging 90 the last five and, and, and we, we hold them to 65. So it, it's, it's been a, you know, impressive, our improvement on defense, how hard we play. First half, we had 27 on the play hard. I, and I thought we still missed some open, uh, some 50-50 uh, balls that we should have, that we should have got if we had a little more awareness. So. Uh, you know our guys prepare. Uh, they, just, you know, it's got to be a little better. And and obviously our health always is uh, important also. And how comfortable is Selden Miguel in that in that one spot in that ball handling role? Well, he he wants the ball, but he's got to realize if you get the ball, you got to get assists. And and that's where he he's always probing and not realizing what he's he's always looking for, but. Um, you know, he, he, he had the ball in high school quite a bit. Obviously, it's a lot different. Uh, you're able to, with the physical presence that you have, you're able to go make plays on your own. These are good defenses. And we kept saying, every time you go to the hoop, guys, they're coming. And I don't know how many, they blocked eight shots. So that's, you know, and then they took a couple charges too, at least two, uh, that I remember, maybe more. So those, those are, you've got to realize, you go in there, you got to jump stop. Got to make the right read. But, um, you know, I thought Selton, you know, he's done a good job defensively um, on some pretty good players. And uh, I know McBride uh, didn't start, but he only played 22, 22 minutes. But Selton, Selton bothered him. And uh, he's, he's kind of taken on that role of being a good defensive stopper. And is this another lesson for your team on physicality and toughness and what it takes? Well, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't think we back down, but they're just a little stronger. They block those shots. You got to finish. You got to get to the free throw line. Um, you know, I thought a couple times maybe you get a foul, but uh, obviously we did it. So maybe we're not using our bodies. I don't know what the, you know, what, how we gain them, gain those fouls. But, uh, you know, we, you know, we we just got a we got a long week ahead of us. Um, we got we they're going to have two games in between us. It allows us hopefully to rest a little bit, uh, get Nigel back, and then you got a chance to finish with a home game. Uh, if you can get a win, you got three out of the last four, which uh, a couple of weeks ago I would have begged for any win, and 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 then going into the tournament hopefully some momentum. So that that's got to be our number one focus and goal. But along the way, we gotta, we gotta, we really have to focus on taking care of our daily business and uh, getting rest and staying healthy, so we have a chance to maybe make a little run here. And where is Dejan Gordon health-wise right now? Um, I think he's he's okay. Um, you know, he's not a hundred percent. Um, you know, again, I thought after Oklahoma, he felt like the foot didn't hurt quite as badly. Um, you know, as it, it had the, the, the two previous games, I don't think he has the jump or the, the spring. And, and when he goes in the paint, that's where he's got to learn. You know, if you don't have that spring, you get stuck in there. Uh, it makes it, it makes it tough. So, um, he didn't, he didn't have one of his better days. Uh, but you know, obviously the other night he was really, really important in our win. Thank you. Safe trip. Thank you. Uh, next question to Matthew Thornsberry. Hey, Coach. Um, can you just talk about, you know, how big uh, of the play from Sean McNeil was? I mean, you know, you're, you're holding West Virginia um, pretty well on defense, and then Sean McNeil really opens up the, the offense for them. 
Yeah, hey, you know, you, I just told our radio people, you got to give him a lot of credit. We've watched him uh, come in. We recruited him. Uh, they end up West Virginia, obviously close to closer to home. They got him to uh, commit a little earlier then, and we never got the the chance to make a push at him. But his improvement from last year to this year, but even during the year, um, it's been it's astronomical because he's playing with such confidence. He's he's got that pure jump shot. He gets up on it. He's even shooting the ball off the dribble now. Um, you know, he, you look at his plus minus, it's plus 25, the best on the team. Uh, you know, so uh, we do a good job on McBride, do a good job on Sherman. And uh, he definitely steps up and 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 makes uh, some, some big shots for them, which really, you know, got that lead into double digits. And then we kind of lost our poise. I also am really impressed by Bridges uh, for a, a young, young player that, he knows his role. He, he, he really contributes for them. And the Matthews, too. You know, they, they don't worry how many shots they get. They, uh, they just worry about, uh, you know, doing what they need to to help their, their team be successful. The same thing with Gabe. Gabe, Gabe gives them a total look and different look than Culver. And he can, for a big guy that can pass the ball and has a, a really positive assist turnover ratio in three to one today, that, uh, you know that those those other guys make a big difference in their team. Next question to Ryan Black. Hey, hey, Bruce. I, I know that no, I mean, no loss is ever easy. But is this one just a little bit easier to stomach in terms of when you step back? You're like, well, guys, we always knew this was going to be tough without Nigel, and we just have to do the best that we can. No, that, to be honest, I, I I felt good at halftime, and I thought maybe if we just play a little sharper or make some free throws, now we pushed them a little bit, put some pressure on them. But we didn't have very good possessions to start the second half. Um, and then we – then you know, kind of when you, you lose your spirits, you break down on defense a little bit. And uh, we made a few mistakes. Uh, and, uh, you know, but, I mean, I, I told our guys, no one expects them to win. But that, that put the pressure on them and come out and play your butts off and, and see what happens. Well, let's keep this thing close. But we just couldn't keep it close enough uh, to, to keep that, put that pressure on them. 